the body of Christ. America, Christendom, is at the precipice of change. And we are at the eve of greatness. There is something that is taking place. There is a hunger that is being fulfilled. There is a mandate that is being carried out. That God is bringing out of us what he has already put in us to be delivered in the earth. Talk to me tonight. And I'm going to suggest as if God is trying to figure out what he is going to do with you. But I want you to understand from this terminology Everything that God has planned for you, he has already put it in you right now. You wouldn't even be here tonight if he had not developed or had plans for you. He would not have ever given birth to you regardless to the circumstances that were surrounding you coming into the world. Had he not had purpose for your life, you would not be here tonight. And as I said earlier, some of us have been through enough that we would not be living tonight. We have had some circumstances and we've gone through some things that really by right should have wiped us out. But thanks be to God, the enemy cannot take me out of here until I fulfill every mandate, every charge, every purpose that God has put on my life. I shall live and I shall not die. But I shall declare the glory, the wonderful works of the Lord. Are you praying with me? There is nothing that is going on in the world. There is nothing that is going on that is happening that has not started with the house of God. Everything that God, every fresh word, every fresh anointing, every promise has to start with the people of God. Everything that has purpose and has mandate has to start with the church. Y'all talk to me tonight. Every blessing that has to come into the, or be manifested in the earth, starts with us. And tonight there is a fresh wind blowing. And the question is, can you not perceive that God is doing a new thing? Not that is new to God, and not that is necessarily new to the kingdom, but God is opening our eyes. And there is a stirring and a hungering from somebody that is saying, God, I want more than the usual. I'm hungry for change. I'm hungry for deliverance. I'm hungry for yokes to be destroyed. I'm hungry to be out of stagnation. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry. Uh -huh. And anybody in here hungry tonight? I believe tonight, Pastor Jackson, that God is not going to disappoint us those who are sincerely hungry for change. With change comes newness. With change comes better things. With change comes turnaround. Pastor Jackson, change is the opportunity to do something over that you may have done wrong from the beginning. Just because you have done it always this way does not necessarily mean that it's right. 
just because we have always been like this does not necessarily mean that it's right. Oh, come on, y'all gonna talk to me? Let me use my southern dialect. Are y'all gonna talk to me tonight? Just because we have been comfortable in it, I'm gonna get help from somebody I didn't bring an express ride tonight, but I don't believe y'all gonna do anything other than say amen. Change means it is an opportunity to do something that I've been doing wrong to get it right. And the Bible is, and the Lord is allowing us through the word of God to understand that there is a brewing, a change, a turning around, a fresh wind blowing. And I need somebody to help me. I need somebody to open your mouth. I need somebody to clap your hands and say, change us, God. change for the better you gonna try to make me work hard aren't you tonight change us for the better there is an atmosphere of change there is a surrounding field with expectation for change and with that kind of expectation when that kind of expectation meets the hemisphere uh -huh, and meets the atmosphere of kingdom, everything that is mandated, everything that has been planned, everything that has been declared must come into full manifestation. Reach over and hit somebody and say, I'm expecting any minute for God to just blow my mind. Oh, you didn't say that like you meant it. Hit somebody next to you and say you are sitting beside dynamite. Hit them, they may not want to hear you, but tell them you are sitting beside dynamite. And tell them any minute, something is going to change up in me. So, so, there is a change. There is an atmosphere. Come on, stay with me. I won't be long. I, I, I'll get out of the way in just a few moments. There is a, an atmosphere filled with expectation for change. And what kind of change are you expecting? Uh -huh. What is it that you want? Do you want God to change it? Or do you want him just to move some stuff around? <laughs> uh -huh. Are you hungry for change? Are you hungry for just moving it around? When, when President Obama was, <laughs> was running for the presidents, see, he was talking about change. And the change that he was talking about, he said, we just cannot build around it. But the only way we're going to get the change that we need, we're going to have to tear down some foundations we're gonna have to tear down some structures we're gonna if we're gonna get changed like we need we're gonna have to tear down and rebuild i'll get some help in here in a minute now you don't mind talking to your neighbor do you just reach over and grab them and shake them real good and say neighbor i don't want that kind of change that you just build around some stuff Talk to him. Come on, talk to him. Tell him, say, neighbor, I won't change. That God may have to tear down some stuff. He may have to break up some stuff. He may have to shake up some stuff. I won't change that will be noticeable. Uh, thank you, Lord. I wonder if I'm in the right place tonight. Somebody that's 